Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna show you all five hedge maze locations here in Hogwarts Legacy and explain to you why you can't find them, which seems to be the biggest question surrounding these hedge mazes here in Hogwarts Legacy. And I spent hours on three different accounts trying to figure out all the details when it comes to these mazes. So hopefully this will be the only video you need to understand how these things work. Now, the first thing that you need to know is that there's only one maze. There's just five different locations. So if you go to all five of these locations, there's a chance you'll find three three or four, maybe all five if you're extremely lucky. There's also a chance that you don't find any. These just randomly generate throughout the world at random times. And from my experience over spending three or four hours trying to figure this out, it appears that there's no outlying factors that are going to improve your chances of getting these mazes to spawn. So again, keep in mind, one maze, five locations, you're not gonna find all five your first go around, I can pretty much assure you that. The second theory that I kinda wanted to debunk is that you can find these at nighttime. You don't need to only go look for these things during the day. In fact, I actually tried to make sure I recorded some clips at night so you could see that these things are available in the darkness. You don't need to wait until daytime, you can get these at all hours of the day. The third thing is that changing the time of day doesn't seem to make a difference now like i said i spent hours sitting here just going to the next day to the next night to the next day to the next night and every time i would do that i would go to all five locations and there were several times where i made the rounds four or five times and wasn't able to get a maze to spawn what i did notice however is when i kind of just played throughout the game and let the time run on its own that is when the mazes started to spawn a little bit more frequently. Um, so just playing the game and letting the time run on its own without trying to skip time is gonna be your best way to get these to spawn. Unfortunately, there's not a specific thing that you can go do that's gonna make one spawn in a specific location. But if you play the game and you're trying to complete other challenges or trying to complete some side quests, after doing so, come back to these locations and check them. Now, the last thing is if you encounter these things, make sure that you don't go anywhere else. Make sure to knock it out immediately. If you leave Leave the area or fast travel these things despawn and they are such a pain to get to come back so if you check these areas out and there's one there don't fly away or don't try to mark it and go to a fast travel get it immediately or it will disappear trust me it was a pain trying to make this video because i had to just record as soon as i found it so there's two things that you want to look out for when you find these mazes one is going to be the legendary chest that spawns in the middle of the maze which is pretty obvious but the other thing is going to be a note that almost explains the lore behind the maze and what it means, the history of it. And there's four different notes. So there's five maze locations, but there's only four notes. So don't stress out thinking you're not getting the fifth page. There's four pages. Sometimes they'll be found at the very front of the maze. Sometimes they're found within the walls of the hedges. Um, just make sure that you're using Revelio. The chest will light up gold and the note will light up blue. So you'll be able to see it. Just try to make sure that you're grabbing the note first, because I think there's a possibility that it disappears if you grab the chest first. So uh, look out for those two things oh yeah and before you guys come at me in the comments each maze every location that it may spawn is always randomly generated so i can't show you the exact path to take uh, for each maze because they always change regardless of where you're at so just keep that in mind when you're doing these these aren't too hard i would just recommend using revelio and trying to work your way to the middle they're not that difficult you should be able to find them out pretty quickly all right now let me show you guys these actual locations i just wanted to share with you guys that info first to hopefully save you guys a lot of time i'm I'm sure most of you were probably just as confused as I was trying to find these things. So the first location is going to be found in the Hogsmeade Valley. What we're going to do is go to Upper Hogsfield and we have a flu flame up here that's literally just called Upper Hogsfield. Go ahead and take that flu flame and what we're going to do is put down a marker right to the left of this giant purple toad den. Now if you don't have this emblem it's going to be kind of right where this river splits. So just put a marker to the east right here. Go ahead and take this fast travel. And once you do, hop on your broomstick and turn right, going toward that marker. And right here, you're gonna have a little open field, and this is where your first arch is gonna spawn. So once you go through this arch, you can complete the chest, and this is your first location. Our next location is gonna be found in the South Hogwarts region, and we're gonna go down here to Lower Hogsfield. And in the Lower Hogsfield town, we have the Lower Hogsfield flu flame. And what we're gonna wanna do is put down a marker just to our left. You guys can see kind of how this mountain goes straight and then has a little dip right here. Put your marker down just before that dip and go ahead and take the lower Hogsfield flu flame. And once you do, hop on your broomstick and just fly toward that marker that you placed. You're going to end up going through the woods. There's a lot of trees. But once you get out here, you guys will see we have another little open field area. And out here is where you're going to find your second arch location. Our next location is going to be found in the South Sea Bog. So down here in the South Sea Bog, you guys will see we kind of have a little cluster of water in this swamp area. 
we're going to want to take uh, the Northern South Sea Bog Flu Flame and go ahead and mark the location down here. It's going to be on the southeastern side. You guys will see a little patch of land right here. We're just going to put our marker right here and go ahead and take this fast travel. Once you do, you'll spawn in looking at this NPC in a hut. Go outside, hop on your broomstick, and fly through the swamp. Now, as you're going through the swamp, you guys will see a lot of massive trees. But as we get closer to our marker, you'll find a really big tree in the very back of the swamp with a giant patch of grass right here in the middle. And this is where your next arch location is going to be. So go through that arch and collect your third maze. So our next location is going to be found down here in the Poitier Coast. And what we're going to do is zoom in here on the right side. We're going to have the Marinwim Bridge Flu Flame. So what you want to do is take that flu flame and our location is going to be just up this path on the mountainside here. So if you follow this path up, you guys will see we kind of have an open area of grass up here on the hill. This is where your next location is going to be. So put down a marker right around here. Take the Marin Weem Bridge flu flame. And once you do, hop on your broomstick and turn around and head towards the marker that you just placed, which is going to be just on the other side of this hill. And once you get up here, you guys will kind of see the path that leads all the way up. And once you get up here to the top, this is where your next arch is going to spawn. So you can go through this arch and this will be your fourth location. Now, your fifth and final location is going to be found in the Cragcroft Shire. If you head to the far southeastern point of this section of the map, you guys will see that we've got a bunch of stuff down here. And we're going to come to this corner. We're going to put a marker on this rock that seems a little bit more elevated than the one on the left, even though it's not. Place a marker right here and then go north and take the Cragcroft Flu Flame. Now, once you take that flu flame, you'll spawn in a little hut. You can hop on your broomstick and we'll start heading towards the marker that we placed. Once you go over this hill, you guys can kind of see this path that leads up to an astronomy table. And we have a landing pad in the back on these rocks. But once you come around the back side, you guys will see that we have a giant empty section of grass here. And this is where your fifth and final arch will spawn. So you can go through that and you can knock out your fifth and final hedge maze but these are all five of your hedge maze locations here in hogwarts legacy and why you can't find them hopefully this video helps some of you guys out give you a better understanding of why these things are so difficult to find um, if you guys have any other questions make sure to leave them down in the comments below and i'll try to respond to all of you guys if you're stuck on something or need help or maybe you find out something new let me know down in the comments but i appreciate you guys watching the video i hope you have a good rest of your day and i'll see you in the next one